Hi Aquarius, thank you for joining. And this is going to be your weekly love reading. It looks like here, either you or someone else around you, okay, is kind of, it's time for you to let go of the past here. We have regret. I know that I cannot change the past, okay? So there's some form of regret. There's a need to forgive yourself collective, okay? Please forgive yourself and let go of whether this is like, guilt for allowing someone to do something to you or being too sweet and kind and compassionate to someone, you know, it, that's okay. You, you continue to be who you are, authentic, authentic, continue to sit in your authentic energy and be who you are and just know who to give it to and who not to give it to. That's, I think this is, looks like it's a process that you guys are really kind of struggling with, but you're getting much, very much so you're getting good at it. You're getting better at it. You've been practicing this. Some of y'all have even been cutting some people off, friends, family members, coworkers, whoever, okay? Um, and doing things for you, making choices for yourself. And that's amazing. I applaud you guys. You always want to kind of be in that energy here. And the reason I say that is because self-esteem came out right after that. So like whatever this regret that you have about the past, right? How something worked out, um, you know, or how something played out or how somebody treated you. It, 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 I feel like it affected your self-esteem and that's normal. That's normal, baby, it's okay. Just know that you possess these very special, loving, kind gifts, right? Cause that's the energy that I'm picking up here. You're somebody here who possesses these gifts and you like to help people. You like to extend a helping hand to folks. Um, you might be the, the person here. It looks like you're the person who people reach out to, to, um, you know, when they need help, right? But now it's, but were those people giving back to you? I think you guys are realizing like, oh my goodness, these people were not giving me what I was giving them or I only hear from them when they want something, right? And I, I've been there done that right you know usually people are not going to reach out to the people who they know are going to say no or th that don't have it right let's let's just be real about it okay so your self-esteem maybe took a hit or maybe this could be you with your self-esteem getting better and saying you know what spirit is really saying it's time for you to focus on you because on the bottom of the deck is love okay don't allow these people who put you in this past energy to yeah encourage underneath that is courage i'm telling you love and courage okay because underneath that is envy these people are really jealous of you you know i feel like these people are they envy the gifts that you have right they envy the help that you are able to give other people because these some these people aren't able to help themselves you know it's like they may look at your life as i keep going through all these challenges and these changes and then you know the collective never has those problems that's why i know i can go ask the collective like that's the energy that it's giving here so spirit wants you to take more time to commit to yourself have discipline to focus on you have the discipline to say no to other people uh, especially when when it's warranted okay i'm not saying don't help the people that have been kind and nice to you, right? What else do we have for the collective? But you'll know. Use your wisdom and your discernment to know who to give to and who not. Pay attention to what people say, what they do. Have they called you? Have they checked in on you recently? Like, for real, you know? Show me what else here for the collective. Let's get you an, an angel number here. All right, your angel number is five. Interesting, I am adaptable. So there's something here that you need to adjust to. There may, might be some changes that's coming up this week or you might need to make a adjustment and a change in a plan that you may have here. There's a need for you to definitely be flexible. It says flexibility is your forte. This is giving Scorpio chameleon vibes for some reason, right? Um, you might have Scorpio in your chart or be a Scorpio uh, sun sign. It says when life throws you a curveball, you can easily adapt to new circumstances and find excitement in the unexpected change. So this is giving like tower moment maybe. Something may be coming towards you that's great or it's for your betterment, right? But you might not really like, you know, be prepared or ready for it. And you may not understand why it's happening, but it's happening for your good, okay? Um, it, it says, it, find excitement in the change, in the unexpected change. Be brave and be bold in your endeavor. Didn't we see courage? 
be brave and be bold in your courage. I feel the inner strength. Uh, what? I'm tripping. I find the inner strength <laughs> to face fear and confidence. All right. So these changes, I'm sorry, y'all. These changes are might be unexpected, but Spirit wants you to find the courage and the strength and the confidence to move through it like water. Be like water, you guys. Be like water. Be flexible. Be the water. Um, who said that? Um, Bruce Lee. A while ago, right? When he was alive, Bruce Lee used to say, be like water in real life. He would say, like, that's the best thing you could do for yourself is not be... Because nothing is really set in stone, okay? Um, let's see. What else do we have for the collective? What else do they need to be aware of for the week ahead, please? Temple path, okay? So... The number 12 could be significant here. Something here you, this might be changing about. It's funny that we're seeing the number 12 here with Temple Path because on the bottom of this deck that I was just noticing is this, I am a visionary. Okay, so there's something here that has to do with your purpose and your vision. Maybe you are seeing this, um, understanding it more. You know, you're getting clearer about your purpose and your passion and your vision here. It says whatever it is that you do that involves your purpose, there's there's some form of creativity that maybe you haven't unlocked that you might be unlocking or you need to work on or have some form of discipline about it. It says creativity is a driving force in your life. Your imagination is rich and you are able to express your feelings and insights in a unique way that that, that others can benefit from. Again, you possess special gifts, right? That other people, that you benefit from and other people benefit from. This literally says, I possess, possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others, all right? This literally basically says the same thing. And the number 12, the temple path is about you being on your divinely guided path. So the number five and the number 12 could be very significant for you in the upcoming week. In the bottom of the deck is the man holding the coin. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here. The world card almost came, well, not almost, it did. It came out, the number 29. You could be traveling. Travel could be involved in your purpose. There could be some form of um, ending here. Um, I feel like it's something that you're definitely going to like, and it's going to be emotional for you. There's going to be... Maybe it's a need for you to follow and trust your heart here over this. Uh, maybe this change could be unexpected travel, something coming towards you unexpectedly that has to do with your purpose. But the world card is about endings, too, and new beginnings. So I think let's read this. Some of y'all are concerned about finances. Be careful with somebody being deceitful here with you over a contract and money, okay? Be careful with that. Make sure you do your homework. Make sure you read through the fine print. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Make sure you do that. Because that's coming out for a reason, all right? So let's read. I want to read the world card, number 29. Because this means a little something different, and I can't remember. Okay. The world card. This person's like walking away. They've turned their back and they're going somewhere. It almost feels like they're going off into somewhere unknown, right? And we've already talked about this energy of you be not being afraid about this unexpected change and being excited and being bold in this new beginning, okay? So this says, this man in this picture is looking out over a bay above the, which the beautiful sphere of the, the earth is rotating. This card is reminding you to expand your vision, right? Because remember we saw, I am a visionary, number 12 card, right? So expand your vision and template some much broader options, okay? The world is wide, so there's a lot out there to consider. In modern age of technology, this could be specifically referring to a, or to creating or expanding to a more global network through internet or social media. Drawing this card lets you know that you have unlimited resources available to you, all right? And now is the time to think big, think bigger, okay? And as they say, the world is your oyster, so go gobble it up. So you, some, there's something here that you obviously need to be thinking bigger about, okay? Um, 
Maybe you need to expand your business and do some promotional marketing online or somehow, some way, you know, take whatever these creative, visionary things that you have or whatever these gifts that are that you have and share them with people online because there are there's a an audience there for you that needs this. Okay, whether you know it or not. There's enough abundance to go around for everybody. What else does the collective need to hear here today for the week ahead? Message in a bottle. You're about to get some form of communication here. The number 15. You oh, you're about to get a message. It's time for you to go travel somewhere. This is a second card that looks like somebody's getting ready to travel the world. There could be some form of I don't know, across I'm getting water. You're wherever you're traveling, you're traveling across a body of water here. Okay. It's an unexpected change that has something to do, I feel like with your purpose, okay? Um, orphan. So there's an orphan energy here. And that's the number five again. You know what's so crazy? This message in a bottle is 15. The time to go card is 45. <laughs> and this orphan card is the number five. We already have the number five out here, right? Five, five, five. Y'all might be seeing, you know, four fives some of y'all three fives this is this is pretty synchronistic here so you might be getting some or seeing some form of synchronicity here don't be i feel like this orphan energy here is like don't be afraid of the new changes coming towards you or like this new place that you're going to there's no reason for you to feel some of y'all might be stuck in a karmic cycle of the past that's why i was telling you like let go of that regret let go of that pain. For some of y'all, that regret and that pain, this is the number 25 on the bottom of the deck. Again, five. It's time for you to change your thought process of the story. This could be something from your childhood. And I'm not saying, you know, what you went through wasn't, wasn't real or still doesn't affect you in some way. Um, but spirit wants you to release this and have the courage to just take care of yourself and, and work on your self-esteem here because there's something that happened in the past that you just seem to like kind of be struggling with letting go. Give me one more for the collective. <clears throat> here and now and co-create. All right, so there's definitely something here. Hmm. Spirit is saying you gotta be more in the present moment, all right? Be more in the present moment. I don't really know what else to tell you. Stay out of the past. You guys are like stuck in between the past and the future. You can't really see that, but I'm going to pull this up a little bit more. This says 30. First of all, this is the number 32, which reduces to five, by the way. One way in the one way is in the past and the other way is, is see this past. That's and this is the future. I mean, that's the future. It's like you're stuck in the middle. You don't have to be just you can be here in the now right now present, right? Definitely don't go back to that past. I feel like you guys are like in this five of pentacles energy where either it could be a feeling of lack, it could be a feeling of childhood abandonment, um, or it could be, you know, any form of abandonment. Someone could have abandoned you financially. You just got to step outside of that energy here. Let's pull some love messages for you and see what's coming up for the week ahead. What else for the collective for the week ahead, please? What can they expect? For the week ahead when it comes to love. Mm. All right. Mm. All right. It looks like you guys, the upcoming week, there's an energy of like, either this is you saying, I don't want to date seriously. Uh, for some of y'all, that could be where you are right now. You don't want to date anybody seriously. Um, but for some of you, there's someone in your energy or that's coming towards you or who's going to try to reach out to you. Uh, they're, you know they're not. Like, your intuition is telling you they're not the right one for you, like, right now. Okay? But it looks like this person, either you or them, I'm just letting you know. If you know you don't want, a, like, a friends with benefits situation or a Netflix and chill type situation, then it's, then this is that person. Use your discernment. You will know. Because this, whoever this person is, they might be like, oh, let's just be friends, you know. Um, and then you sleep together or something. And then, and then it stays as you just being friends and sleeping together. Be mindful of that energy. I feel like this person likes you or, like, you like them. But... 
they're the right for you, front one for you, but just for now. They don't want anything serious. Because this literally says no strings attached, casual dating. The right one for you right now. Friends with benefits. You see where I'm going with this? Being friends first before being lovers. Okay, so make sure you don't give it up. Don't give up the cookies. If you don't, you know what I'm saying? If if you want more, don't give up the cookies right away. Because we have an admirer who adores you. I'm not saying this person that doesn't like you. I'm just saying if you like them a lot and you want more, then you, that's what you need to do. Take it slow. Okay? Don't be over here, you know, give me the green light. No, they're going to give you the green light. Like Trey Song, Song said, if you, um, what he say? If you throw it, then I'm going to hit it or something like that. They will. <laughs> yeah. They definitely going to hit it if you throw it. You, you get my drift, right? You get my drift. What's the advice here for this, for um, collective spirit, guys? Holy Spirit. What's the advice for the collective moving into the following week? Thank you. Spirit says you are the magician. Whatever it is that you wish to have in this lifetime, you must develop the willpower to make it happen and make it yours. Willpower, confidence, discipline. Hello. Reach you underneath this discipline. If you spirit says, if you just put more work in, and effort and energy into this and don't be afraid, right? Maybe this is just up to you just posting your stuff on, building a website, posting your stuff online, doing more social media. There's abundance behind this discipline if you just put in the work. Okay. Spirit says, whatever it is, let it go. I told y'all. Whatever it is, let it go. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to be free of worry. You deserve peace of mind. You deserve all the things that serve your highest good. So that is your weekly message. I love this message. Um, I love you guys. Um